بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم He has the right to There's there's a, a lot of laws that stop women from things like owning property or having a voice, having to cover themselves, having to whatever. Yes, no, 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 I, I'm, I'm, not, so, I'm not, I'm not, I'm so, not, can, you, can you slow this down? So you're saying Every they cannot different. own property? In I'm, some areas. Is that, is that the teaching Only of Islam three. or the teaching of the societal practices? So here's the thing, part of it is in the Quran of like ownership and like beliefs of, uh, and I, I'm So let's talk about this, about ownership. Does Islam prohibit or prevent women from owning Finances, money, property, anything, business? I think it does that the, it belongs to the man first and then her father. Absolutely not. But, see, absolutely not. Humans. So humans this is. It up. No, I'm saying absolutely not. You have total misconception about but this is the curse. Islamic teachers. So everybody. in countries hmm? that are. You said he'll curse the one who's lying. In countries where. Why is your God so full of cursing? Our God is full of blessing. So he also course. thinks another, another woman doesn't know how to think. Another question. Thinks a woman doesn't no, have no, a brain. It doesn't matter if it's it was full of blessing, not cursing. Yeah, yeah. But that's how it feels. I know. If I were to discuss with a gentleman, just to just to make my point, if I was to discuss with a gentleman, they won't come and make oh. comments like that. Oh really? Yeah. Oh. Especially Thank when they see we're discussing it. with women, As they women, feel it's nice they've... to have men who actually see this and understand. Like, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah so yeah, that's what know, I'm saying. This is a woman's you know, thing. Is in Christianity, we have two examples now. You know, in one discussion where they're undermining women's intelligence so so badly. Anyway, coming this back to the, the point. World. Because, so it might not be in the Quran, but Muslim countries do not let women. So it's not the fault of Islam, it's the fault of people practicing their own kind of social practices. And this is what Islam came to abolish. Islam came to. But the countries that are Islamic are doing the least to abolish that. In fact, they use Islam see, as their reason to have these rules. Like we see in Iran right now, they're using literally Islam as their reason to have They're not using the rules that. from Islam. That's the problem. We are, the Islamic we countries are, are doing this no, and no. saying it's Islamic. A country can only be called Islamic if it's implementing Islamic law, not a very wrong interpretation of Islamic law. I agree. But yeah? yet, so, so coming yet, back to the woman it, owning. Having so Iran our own needs business. Your voice. Iran needs your voice right now because the men need to hear it from a man. Yeah, yeah. Iran is a politicized country. They have their own kind of understanding of religion, which is not even the but every teaching Muslim of the prophet. Has this then, because no, no. every Muslim a country, Muslim country does not allow the women to talk, we have to or have jobs, or have equality in marriage. Can or I ownership. take one by one because you you like. Well, no, giving me so many points and I can't, I can't wait, wait, deal wait, with I them. I don't mean to talk about every single point. We're talking about a whole broad thing. But, but the um, reason I'm saying is, let's talk about owning property. Owning property. Firstly, it's not the teaching of Islam that women cannot own property. In fact, if a woman has her own business, she has her own money, her own finances, she could be a billionaire, the husband cannot take a single penny from her. That's the right so, Islam gives to the women. I know people who are so, very, very educated on the Quran and on the teachings that are not the Quran, but like the life teachings. And I forget the word right now, but um, I'm not able to discuss it with you because I'm not really good with the details of the Quran enough to challenge you or disagree or, or but you, know you if see, you're not telling me the truth because I'm not I'm not aware enough. So what I am it's aware interesting. of is it's, the countries that call themselves Islamic, running by Islamic sure. law, people who are Let, educated in this. Can I make a quick point? People who are very, very, very much studying specifically this disagree with you. Whose whose works on an academic level have you studied? They say in Islam, the teaching of Islam, because you even said whether I'm speaking the truth or not. So even to a very basic level, we should have the decency of giving the other person this understanding that you are speaking the truth, I don't have any reasons to believe That's otherwise. That's not true at all, because people are always going to uh, say what they no. believe, but aren't necessarily the truth. Uh, not necessarily. The I would and I take you, I would take, so the principle that you have now is quite interesting. For me, as a Muslim, I would take any person on the general face value that you are a decent human being, you are truthful human being, you are a compassionate muscle human being, until it's proven otherwise. So you are not guilty, you are innocent until proven to but be guilty. Can I make my point? Wait, Sorry. Wait, 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 hold on. Can I finish my point? Okay. Then you can speak. Islamic principle is a higher principle than the one that you are upholding. 
you are innocent. That's true. Okay. I'm just telling you. You're telling the me principle, your, your idea. That's uh, okay, not true. That's fine. Okay. I'm telling you, you we should be all innocent until proven guilty. Are you saying can you get a better ideal than that? So what you're doing is an illogical circular argument that How is it illogical saying, circular? So you just talked and I did let you finish. Can I actually go ahead. my point now? Otherwise you're just talking over me and Sorry, using this ahead. as a platform to spout a lot of BS of your own. Now carry on. You can speak your own truth about yourself as best as you possibly can. That's the best all humans can do. And I can take you talking about yourself and your own beliefs and your ideas on what the Quran says and means as your ideas. But there isn't a truth that I can believe you speaking because you're talking about your ideas, about yourself, your own beliefs. But absolutely not. Nobody can speak a truth that is contested and debated and discussed among scholars who study it, never mind somebody at Hyde Park that I don't know how much of a scholar you are on this, and people debate this, which means there isn't a truth, black and white. So your circular uh, argument that's illogical and irrational is that I am lesser minded or lesser believed because I have the logical understanding that you can only speak your own ideas. You can't tell me what is true or not true in the Quran. What I can do is understand that the Quran is debated deeply among scholars. I am not a scholar of the Quran. I'm interested in it, but I am not a scholar. Which means you can say anything you want about what it says. But I have friends who are scholars in the Quran, and I'm pretty sure they've said some different things. Which means now I'm going to say, do I believe you? There is things that are debated among scholars, so of course I'm not necessarily just going to believe you just because you're talking in Hyde Park. Okay. That's an illogical, irrational thing to do as a human being. So my ideals, in a sense, are higher to understand that there's rational, logical truths. But even if you spoke about your own ideas, ideas on humans on themselves change constantly. We're growing and evolving. There isn't a black and white truth, as you were just saying. So my point being that. It's a very good, smart base layer in a conversation to understand that you have ideas, but there's no truth to them. My ideas that I express to you aren't even a full truth because I don't have years and years and years to express all the depths of those truths. And our language is so fallible, especially English. It's such a fallible language. Right. Thank you. Now, two things. Firstly, I was asking you about which scholar have you read who says, no listen to friends just talking like this talking but asking questions um, but I can't be specific because my memory is a little bit I would appreciate if you can find me a scholar that says that Islam the teaching of Islam which is Quran and the prophetic teachings prohibits women from ownership of wealth finances businesses and land, so on land anything houses. anything anything ownership you said there are scholars and you you somehow can I, can I, I can make, can I that. finish? Oh wait, did you want me to answer the question? Can I wanna... finish? I've not finished. Absolutely. I Thank you. You wanted me to answer that? No, I no, yeah, answer that. yeah. Because okay. I said two okay. things, okay. and this is one of the things. The second thing, I said, are you suggesting in any way, shape or form that what, what I gave you an ideal, that you should be innocent and be proven guilty, there's a better ideal than that? And you said this was a circular argument. So now, um, let me ask you, rephrase my question to you. The innocent, we should be treated as innocent until proven guilty. Now, can we get a better ideal than this? You said a bunch before that. And no, then you I, I'm only addressing two things. Forget all the bunches like you did. I couldn't even remember the so many things you said. So that's why I said slow down. Two things. One is about ownership, which you somehow you disregarded you me. Ask a question can I? Can and I? You talk over me. No, no. I'm clarifying. I've not finished. finished. I'm not finished. And then yet. you say you're not finished. I'm not you finished because you asked me a question. I went to start, and then you talk over Did, me okay. and keep trying to. Did you hear my me. question though? Yes. Go ahead. Answer, please. You said a whole bunch before that when I talked about a circular argument. It had to do with all the stuff was beyond that. Mm -hmm. If you want to cut out and pretend that everything else you said and meant and got across doesn't exist, like what? Well, that's silly. Because you were talking about how, um, oh God, no, ADHD memory, great, good fun. I want to stay on point a little bit. No, like what? I want to stay on point. Question number one. Yeah. Uh, that's a long question. I'm going to answer question number two first. Yeah. The beginning part, 
was had to do with the circular argument and how you used uh, innocent until proven guilty as a finishing point to a circular argument, but the finishing point, should we be innocent until proven guilty? Yes, I mean, I'm a de democratic believing person, so yeah, I believe in that. So you agree with the principle? That part of the principle, some of the other stuff you said, no. No, no, what other stuff? You don't even remember the other stuff. No, I do. So you agree with the principle, so which I said. you over and then you jump in no, and I'm you confirming. change it, you I'm confirming. It. You're not confirming, you're twisting it. How am I twisting? Oh, here we go again. Now, please tell me, how am so I twisting? So I answered, I answered number two. Number one, when you're asking about who of any scholars points towards the Quran saying that women should not have property and ownership, I can name off a whole bunch of Muslim countries, we all know them. Scholars, not a country. The you're making a logical fallacy now. You no. should you should know because you talk about logical can fallacies. I finish? Okay. I'm letting you finish, but I'm just telling no, you don't make logical fallacies me. as you speak. Well, you don't know it's a logical fallacy because I actually haven't finished. So, in the conversation of this, there are many, many countries that are Muslim Not countries, interesting countries. And they are run by Islamic scholars that come together and make decisions and believe this is what the Quran is saying. And they are scholars like who? that make the rules for those countries. Like who? Iran, Saudi Arabia. No, like which Qatar. scholar have you read? And which works? He wants to be specific with yes. names. But exactly. he's asking, can you name a scholar? And if yeah. I don't remember a specific name, you have of a friends person, with a scholar. it doesn't exist. And that's not a rational argument, and we can't have a no, conversation no. if you're like, I can't remember a you name. You are generalizing based on your ignorance. No. No. And you're, you straw, you're straw mining, See, which I didn't say, even I'm, say. I'm ignorant because I can do what he asked me to do, but it's not a specific name. Which is just such a no, substantiate your claim. You said there are scholars. No, you said there are scholars. Yes, and I don't remember the exact names, and then it, it doesn't exist, or I'm not being rational because I can point to them. Okay. I'm pointing very clearly to them. No, we you're know, pointing to countries, not we scholarship. We know that Saudi Arabia is run as an Islamic country. Yes, we all. We're not interested Saudi in countries. Arabia. We're interested in scholarship. And the people who come together. You're to conflating say, two th different things. The people, no, the people who come together to say this is what the Quran says. This is how we make our laws in Saudi Arabia, in Iran. In Qatar, in Bahrain. Can women they inherit property in Saudi Arabia? Yes, they can. So you bring you bring an example which refutes your point. Her, 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 Shalabi, she was driving and it slipped up and she was murdered. So it, I think you're confusing between a state or a government and a religion. No, I'm not confusing it. And that's what he's saying. To in Saudi the Arabia, is, may I ask laws, you? When you have laws in a lot of these countries, and I want to back up because you just joined. I travel to these countries. I love them. I love Islam. I think it's a very beautiful in Saudi Arabia, brothers and sisters. Religion. Can women inherit? Inherit? Right? Can they own you business? For sure? They do. Yeah. They do. So now they're refuting you, your your ignorance on this matter. In Morocco, brother, my wife, she have a house, she have a car, she have a land, and she have a shop. I have a But if she has a husband, she, is it hers? I am a husband. I am her husband. <laughs> refuting her you husband. again, second point. I'm a Muslim. How many times do you want to be rinsed? Wants me to show her picture with cover everything, and she have everything. I have got nothing. I'm just working here, and she got everything good. Here we go. It's Morocco again. Where is this? It's Morocco. No, so you got Saudi Arabia and Morocco. It's Islamic country. Yes, it is. That's it. That's it. But it's Morocco's government doesn't control Saudi Arabia. No, no, we're not talking about Saudi Arabia. We said I'm countries. talking about Saudi Arabia. Sorry, sorry, sister. You said this countries. Is my point. Have you been to Saudi Arabia? Uh, no, but I no. have been to Morocco and Egypt so, and so Jordan. How, where Jordan. did you hear the Saudi in Saudi Arabia, women cannot have their own business and own own money? From Saudis. From Saudis. Saudi women. From Saudi women. Yeah, they travel. And you trusted them. More than you. Why? Because they're women from their own country. No, no. Why did you trust you, them more than me? Have you been to Saudi Arabia? Hmm? Have you been to Saudi Arabia? Yeah, many times. Questions. Okay. Yes. And are you a woman in Saudi Arabia that so understands? So it has to be a woman to, to be truthful. But you think I have to have traveled to Saudi no, no, Arabia? No, no. Let's understand your understand. logic. Your logic. If you're a woman, then you can well, be truthful. I'm using if you're a man, you cannot be. I'm using be. your logic on you. You asked if I'd What is my logic? There. You asked if I'd been there, as if I could possibly know something or not know something based on if I'd even been in a country. Like I can't read. No, isn't it? Isn't it reasonable? If we haven't been to a country, then we may not less about it. I can't read about the country, but I couldn't possibly Fine. know if I haven't been to right. the country. Right. So I was using do I have your, to be a woman to be truthful? I was using your lack of rational against you just to show how you how have I been irrational you said you asked me if I'd been there as if what did, I, why did I ask you for again I'm saying it again you asked if I'd been there as if I could possibly know or not know read something hear something know learn about something based let me on tell my you why physical I ask you. my physical ability to be in a country no, let me tell you why I ask you if for I example will find you answers while you're you're talking I will try to find you go, go ahead no problem you take because your time you I have enough energy. time no problem have so what I'm saying is sometimes oh, no, we may not know 
what's happening politically, you know, economically in a country unless we've been there inside. Like if you haven't been into North Korea, for example, you don't know what's happening in there. If you haven't been to China you and what's- You can have some ideas about laws from right. people who've come out. Some out. idea, you but this listen. some I agree. You can but the some ideas like that you Saudi may have- Arabia doesn't have their I, laws open for May people. I finish? The, the some ideas, was, some ideas that you may have may be mistaken. Was, do you, you are saying that a country is not run, Muslim countries are not run by Muslim people who study the Quran. And I'm saying they are run by people who study the Quran. And where did Saudi Arabia implement this law? Women cannot decisions. have properties. That's, where do you get this from? <laughs> where do you get this from? You're twisting all the things I'm saying. What, I'm what have I twisted? So what I said... No, you keep accusing me. What have I twisted? You jumped over me. So what I said... What have I twisted, sorry? Do you hear this? He's asking me a question, but will not let me say No, you accuse me of twisting. I would like you to substantiate. And he immediately starts talking as soon as I'm trying to answer the question. Oh, go ahead, you're answering. So I'm sorry. Talks in and talks no, no, over I'm so sorry, you are answering. He's, she's going to tell us this how I'm twisting. Go ahead. Are you actually going to let me? Yeah. Huh. That's the point. <laughs> talking to men is so funny sometimes. Like now it's a man and woman yes. issue. How did I come up to you? You were talking to a man about a man and woman issue, about jumping I'm in. I'm letting you and speak, and you have a problem with not. that. Okay, I'll just have to talk over you because you just keep jumping in on me. I talked about a bunch of points, and then you jumped on this one, and you started talking about it in a way that I didn't actually specify and say this. I didn't say all of this stuff exactly. You asked me, tell me a scholar. I'm telling you that scholars that, that study the Quran that study what they believe the Quran to be are the people who come together and make decisions for countries that are run by what they call Muslim law. And you can say it's not Muslim law. You can say, you told me that you disagree, that they're not running the way the Quran says. But I'm just saying, I might agree with you on this. However, it is scholars of the Quran who come together and say, this is what the interpretation is, and these are the laws we're making based on the Quran. I don't need to give you exact names of all the mullahs and imams because you haven't and got people, any. but there are. You can't. You can't refute that these all these countries. Something that is known obviously by necessity. You can't refute that all these know countries are not people who study. The Do you know Quran. why I'm, I'm challenging you on this point? There are something in Islam known by necessity. There's a principle in Islam called al ma'lum min al dini bi darurah. What is known in the religion by necessity. Every Muslim knows that. For example, drinking alcohol, committing fornication, adultery. Drinking Can I finish my point? 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 Yeah, without being interrupted. Without being interrupted. Without being interrupted. Are you going to just speak false points, though? Stay to the point. Don't give Without being interrupted. Stay to the point. Without being interrupted. Stay to the point. So I can interrupt you like you interrupt me. That's you. You're telling me. Fine, no problem. I will interrupt you when you speak too. So you did. No, no, you did. You continuously interrupted me. But then you start speaking false points and you change the subject. What false points? What false points? You're talking about how alcohol isn't in the Quran. It's very specifically in the Quran. About what, what am I saying? Alcohol isn't in the Quran? Yeah, you used alcohol as a point to say that there's things that aren't in the Quran that are just that in, known. That, it that aren't in the, in the Quran. Quran. It is in the Quran about speaking, drinking. Did alcohol. I say it's not in the Quran? No. You said that it's a known thing that there's things, and you use that as an example. It is in the Quran about not drinking alcohol. That one. Do I you know. even understand what I'm talking about? I am saying there are things that are known by necessity. Do you know why? Because they're already mentioned explicitly in the Quran. Quran says, "Do not approach, do not drink." Right? Don't go come to prayer when you're drunk. There's several levels of alcohol banning in the Quran. So if a scholar now decides and say, it's okay to sell alcohol and run alcoholic business in your country, in a Muslim country, in Saudi Arabia or otherwise, we know that these are wrong. This legislation that is derived from this faulty interpretation is not rooted in Islamic text. Likewise, women, whether they can own businesses, properties, lands, any kind of ownership, it is known by necessity because of the explicit text in the Islamic sources. That is my point. Instead of saying, oh, I don't know, maybe I've heard it wrong, let, let me go and check up with my friend who's a scholar. Rather than That's assuming... Not what I was saying, you're wait, 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 wait. No, no, it's not don't interrupt. Twist. Don't interrupt. I will interrupt. Rather than... When rather you're than... And saying something I didn't say, I will. Oh, no. it sounds like we got a riot going on there.